Hi vlog. We're doing a vlog for the first time in like three weeks. It's a long weekend, Memorial Day weekend. We are not doing much. Clean house, went to Target today. Kiki's having a fire with his friends tonight to celebrate his birthday. And I thought we would structure this vlog a little differently this long weekend, okay? I am going to read, can you hear guns in the background? If you can, it's Kiki's gun video game. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna structure this vlog a little bit differently after my friend Grace, who did a reading vlog recently where she was trying on purpose to read five star books only. Fishing for five stars, okay? I hope to read two five star books this weekend. That is my plan. I already picked out my first one. Let me go get it. I am gonna read Transit by Rachel Cusk. This is the second in the outline trilogy and i read a little bit last night about 30 pages and i'm loving it so far i'm liking it more than i like to outline it's about her settling into her london home after her and her husband get divorced and like settling her two small children so very like intimate slow familial in the brain dwm so i'm liking it i don't know what our second book is gonna be we'll figure it out after we finish this one but We'll get there when we get there. I read five books this month. Kiki read five books this month. <laughs> can we interview you about it? No. Please? My thoughts are private. Please, can you just do a little thing on the vlog? Maybe later. Okay, we'll interview him later. He has to, come on. He does, he has to. I'm gonna keep cleaning the house and probably go outside and read on the lawn because it's like 80 degrees outside today. Maybe eat my ice cream cone Kiki got me, but we'll check in later. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. Kiki, what books did you read this month? Oh, I can't remember. You don't remember? I read, uh, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. I think that was this month. I read Heat Wave. I read Camino Store Woman and Earthlings. Luster. Luster. Do you have any thoughts about any of them? I honestly can't remember what Luster was about. It was like the millennial woman who has the affair with the married man. Oh. Oh yeah, I liked that book. Yeah. That was good. Yep. Did you have a favorite this month? I thought they were all pretty different, honestly. Hard to say. I think Convenience Store Woman and uh, Earthlings definitely had a lot of similar uh, themes. Because they're by the same author? Um, I mean, more than just that almost. Like, there's a, there's a lot of like social hierarchy discourse, I feel like, that author probably. Like about class? Yeah, just like class and gender. like gender roles and like what you're supposed to do as a woman and a man, like get a job, get married, make a baby, etc. Mm -hmm. Those were both like really prevalent themes in those books. Um, I like both of those. I like Lester a lot. I thought it was kind of like, it's not very eventful. It was, it definitely kept my attention, but it was kind of like a, like one of those IFC movies that's like not really about anything but like it's just really long and you're still pretty into it like plotless yeah I mean there was a plot but it was yeah it just felt kind of like probably could have been shorter oh. but the writing was good that was my favorite book of last year Wow. what are you looking for in your next read more pictures no <laughs> I don't know you I'm want me sure. to choose something for you, right? I suppose, yeah. Maybe you could just find something that's like a mix of luster and... Well, you haven't read Earthlings. Mm-mm. So... I haven't read Earthlings. Something fast-paced. Something fast-paced, okay. Fast-paced. The luster actually was pretty... I would say I feel like I'm contradicting myself, but it was yeah. kind of fast paced, but like not a lot was happening. Like the writing was really like 
you know, going, going, going. But it wasn't like a lot of shit was going on. But I feel like you like a plot is what you're trying to say to me. I Fast paced means plot to me. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know what books I read with plots. <laughs> I have to think about this. Can we get a little shout out for the clean house? Can we get a little shout out, Kiki? Oh my God. Who lives here? What about a shout out for the jackfruit sliders? Yeah, Kiki made jackfruit sliders for his little party. Yeah. Look how nice the house is when it's clean. God, I wish it stayed like this. Oh, the slider is waiting. Oh, where's the slider? It's just waiting. Oh. That doesn't look very so cute. So cool. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kiki. It was your birthday last week. It was your birthday last week. It was your birthday. Damn. Kiki, you have five friends? I don't know. Whoa, dude. I already pre built the fire. Damn. It's a mix of Douglas fir and cedar. That's it's a gonna, good shape. It's gonna smell really nice. It's gonna be gorgeous. You wanna get your book and come out and read? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna read, you guys. I'm gonna read Transit. Here I go. Garden update. I just had a couple strawberries. They're very good. These guys need to ripen more, but they're coming along. Probably pick the kale this weekend. And the broccoli. And the lettuce. Look at this butter lettuce. How cute is it? Aww. Good morning. Kiki's birthday went well last night. We had like five friends over for a fire. Very fun. Taking my ritual vitamins and my Prozac right now. Great. We're going grocery shopping. <laughs> Surprise. It's Sunday? It is Sunday. I get confused on long weekends. It's Sunday and we are going to another friend's house tonight for a barbecue. Lots of socialization on the, the weekly vlog. And Spud had a really big night last night, didn't he? He was loving the attention, loving the extra eyes on him. Anyway, we're going to a friend's house for a barbecue and we have to do our weekly grocery shopping, so we're going to do that. Then my friend Isaac is gonna be staying with us for the night, because he's coming from Seattle. And what else is happening? I kind of want to go to the mall to get a new pair of Vans because it might have a hole in them. And I'm gonna see if I can convince Kiki to let me go. And then if we do go, I might go to Barnes and Noble. <laughs> do you think I can convince him? I'm actually like really confused if I should get black and white checkered Vans or not, or a new color. How was your birthday party, Keeks? So sweet. So all right, we'll see you later. Yo, they got me. <laughs> they got me. I've only read one. <laughs> Update. This is what I got, cause Hannah told me I would like it. And I didn't get any shoes. But I did get a book. breakfast contrap oh my god wow <laughs> this is isaac one of my best friends since fifth grade everyone hi he watches the vlog mm -hmm. he's a cj reader true i hope i picked a good one did you knock on it Hey. Damn. Ooh, that's a good one. I think it looks good. It's juicy. Good morning, vlog. It is Monday. Labor Memorial Day. 
Isaac's here still. We went to our friend's house last night. It was lovely. And I think we're about to go to the little Mexican Mercado up the street to get a smoothie and then come back here. I thought I should do a book update. I'm reading Transit by Rachel Cusk. And I have to say, it is not keeping my attention. I think the 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 vision to read five star books for this vlog is already failing because this is not gonna be a five star read. She's maybe a three or four at best, but I'm not convinced yet. Um, I like Rachel Cusk, but I don't know. I wish I never read second place because nothing can compare. Our neighbor is cutting down their tree if you hear that. Uh, Kiki is reading, studying this morning, the American Bookseller Association's How to Start a Bookstore book. Yeah. We're a year out, people. We're studying. We're setting our vision. <laughs> and we're supposed to have no regrets. <laughs> But I think I see regrets forming. <laughs> really? I, I don't know. Do I see a regret forming on you, Kiki? No. Okay, good. Potato chips. We got bagels. He got blocks. He got the gator. Cajun dill gator taters. Oh, 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 <laughs> lemon bay. <laughs> Tuesday. It's 96 degrees today. I know I'm air conditioning. My house is painted black and I am in pain. I have nothing to say to you, so I'm not going to waste your time. Okay? I'm going to see you tomorrow and hopefully it's a little cooler. Love you. Hey, hey, hey vlog. It's Wednesday, June 2nd. My mom's birthday is tomorrow. I know you wanted to know that. Uh, checking in, just got off work. Kiki just harvested from our garden and I ate four berries right from the garden and some very spicy radishes and I think we got lettuce, right Kiki? Yep, plenty of lettuce. Yep, he's making tacos tonight. Have you noticed all the leaves falling from the fiddle leaf? Yep. What do you think we're gonna do here? Probably time to prune. Do you think it needs more water? No. Does anyone know what to do? We have a few fallen leaves. Should we be concerned? That is They're the all resident pig. Small ones from the bottom. I yeah, I know. Water. Those are like little garbage leaves. But I do see some like sunspots forming. I think it might be too hot. It won't last for long. Finished. Transit by Rachel Cusk last night. Dang, is she smart. Just a great writer, you guys. Uh, we did not succeed on our quest for five stars on that one. It's only getting a four from me. I thought it might have gotten like a three at times, but the last section where she's at her cousin's house witnessing this insane family dynamic happening between her cousin who recently got divorced, his new wife, friends they have over, adolescent children and small children was like phenomenal she's so sociological and just like kind of feels like you're watching someone else process therapy kind of there is like a ther thera therapizing therapizing aspect to reading rachel cusk it's very like i don't know sociological i guess is the best way i can put it i really liked it it is a more personal glimpse into her life than Outline was. So we need to pick out a new five-star predicted book. I don't know what I want. What do we want? We just read some beautiful writing, pretty plotless, introspective. So I don't know if I'm in the mood to continue with DWM vibes, but maybe I am if it's more like structured in a novel, right? So let's go to the TBR room. These are the three books that I feel the most five-star energy emanating from, specifically Drifts. This is about art, identity, an intimate portrait of reading, writing, and creative obsession. 
so DWM with a plot, something happens at the end. Kind of chunky though. Crying in H Mart and Memoir, totally different vibe. I feel like the Outline tr Trilogy is a living memoir, the same way Deborah Levy is, and this was really sad and about family, food, and grief and love, mothers and daughters, identity and culture. Heard nothing but amazing things, but like, I don't know. And then we have Edge Case, which I would say is the most novely novel, but also similar themes, you know, intimacy, relationship we hold to country and family, poignant and darkly funny, estrangement, the fractured nature of identity. But like, I think this has a plot, like someone goes missing. Ugh. Okay, the scripted hand dating before and after. Oh, never mind. This is too weird and foreign for me. That's not going to be a five-star read. It might. Like, it might, but it's probably not going to be. I don't know. I feel like I have to do drifts. I feel like I have to do drifts. But I want to do this, too. Hello. I just finished watching Inside by Bo Burnham, the new comedy special on Netflix. And I wanted to record my thoughts about it while it was fresh in my brain. I loved it. I really loved it. It was like a weird Lynchian art house student film that was about like trying to make a comedy special. I feel like it was operating on a lot of different levels. It was so nihilistic and like full of apathy which I usually think is like a gross take for white people to take on, especially well-off rich white men who are celebrities. But it was also like earnest at the same time and like self-referential and critical. And that was my first time watching one of Bo Burnham's specials in a really long time. And this one was like really musical heavy. So like caveat, if you don't like musical comedy, musical comedy which is like, a thing. I wouldn't say I usually like it at all, but thematically I just think it was such a smart way to tie in self-isolation, internet dependence, like again the nihilistic attitude that a lot of millennials and Gen Z people have seeing as we inhabited an uninhabitable dying world. And I just think it was a really interesting creative feat. I think that was really cool. I don't envision myself watching a lot of media about 2020. You know, I'm sure things are gonna start rolling out in the next two years that are like quarantine based about that time period we all just lived through. But I feel like that was all I ever needed to watch about that subject watch it let me know what you think i really liked it kiki didn't like it at all <laughs> kiki left the room several times and was multitasking the entire time so you know divided household on this you might not like it i'm warning you now it's very musical heavy kiki was like is this a weird owl reference because like yeah it, it is pretty much is weird bro weird owl yeah but i think it is and that's okay <laughs> I'm not saying it's not, it's just that I don't still listen to Weird Al. I don't either. Uh, the one song about maybe like... you should start. The one song about like disassociation, and it's like, it's that funny feeling. That one was so fucking good. I loved it. It's mental illness, ain't it, love? <laughs> it was good. Good night. Happy Saturday, sexy people! We're about to go to Target. You already knew. You already knew. I haven't vlogged the last couple days because I'm a bad boy. But we're going to go grocery shopping today. Kiki's playing Grand Theft Auto, if you can hear that. And we're going to check out another indie bookstore that I found in one of the suburbs of Portland. Chill day. It's gloomy out today. We're going to rest. It's going to be great. Go on. Yeah. We're in the car. We're going to a new bookstore called Books Around the Corner in Gresham, which is a suburb of Portland that's like 15 minutes from our house. It's only 300 square feet, so it's really tiny. So I think it'll be like a good, I don't know, 
like size comparison for us to look at. That's probably the smallest bookstore I've ever been in as we're thinking about bookstores in the future, right? Um, nothing really on my radar to buy, but I'm sure I'll find something. And yeah, I think it's in like downtown Gresham, which actually has like a really cute strip that we've driven by before. Um, cause Kiki bought his car in Gresham. None of this is interesting and you wouldn't need to know any of that. Uh, but Gresham that's- Subaru? Yeah, Gresham Subaru, shout out to Roger. Roger, if you're watching, God bless you. Roger, if you're watching, we're loving the Subaru and we hope to see you soon. Which I will. Why? I gotta update my software. Oh, for a software update. We'll see you soon, Roger. Bye. <laughs> Okay, that little bookstore was closed. So I Google mapped us to another bookstore called Book Warehouse and it's at an outlet mall. So things have turned, things have changed. Book Warehouse has good reviews on their Google Maps review. I'm gonna go to Famous Footwear. I'm gonna go to Oshkosh Bagash, which is a great business name by the way. All right, we're going to Book Warehouse. Ah! This was probably a mistake. This was probably a mistake. Oh, the Princess Bride over there. Oh, the Princess Beard. I got one book. America's Not the Heart of It. It was $7.99, which is good for a hardcover. I don't understand that store. There's like some backlist stuff some new stuff and if you like bundled three books it was only twenty dollars which is a pretty good uh deal seems like they're stacking the deals like if i saved this i could come back and get a free paperback what the hell but this is one of hannah's fave books so i'm excited to read this The most special time of the year, cherry season. I'm in my yard. Isaac's still here. He's about to come out and read Future Feeling. We be chilling. In the club. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick update on this book, and then we're gonna watch Minari. I think I'm DNFing this book. I think I am not finishing it, which is shocking because this is a five star read prediction vlog so something that i thought was gonna be five star i'm ending up dnfing yikes what is it this book is called drifts and it's basically a book of fragmentary prose and like almost journalistic diary entries about the author trying to write this book called drifts which like she references throughout the book is a memoir about nothing which i feel like i would usually be interested in like the premise of this book and everything she is referencing makes a lot of sense you think you need a vape yeah he fucking thinks he needs a vape um but it's just not clicking like the writing is like maybe a little self-serious kind of withholding <clears throat> And it's kind of like not clicking with me. I'm going to tell you the exact sentence which I decided to DNF this book at. The ones I love disappear and I go chasing after them. And perhaps this is also why I'm a writer. It's just like, I don't know. That's kind of precious to me. And this involves like a lot of photography theory. And there's like even photographs included in this book which she references. But I don't like it. I don't like it. So now we're gonna watch Minari. This has been a failed vlog. I've not read any five star reads, zero actually. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. We're going to the farmer's market cause it's the first day of the farmer's market. 
and we're gonna meet up with our friend Alex, my best friend. Wow. <laughs> Isaac's just chopped liver to me, obviously. Uh, but we're gonna meet up with her for lunch, and yeah, bye. Want to say goodbye from editing CJ? Too lazy to even get my camera. I'm recording on my phone. Kiki is gaming and we're gonna have a chill rest of our day. It's 5.30, seeing my friend Alex was awesome. We had a great lunch of curry. And we're just gonna relax into the Sunday. I'm gonna upload this, this is a long vlog. It's almost like 30 minutes, so that's intense. Jeez. What? That's a long one. <laughs> Um, Who's gonna watch all that? I don't know, probably no one. <laughs> I started it last weekend. If you're still here watching this, leave a mushroom emoji in the comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, editing this vlog, gonna get prepped for the work week, and last reading update before I sign off. I started Pop Song last night, which is a memoir in essays, really interesting form. I think that's a really smart form if you're a memoirist for people to read through. I like that essay structure. It's a young millennial woman who's actually from Portland, Oregon, who whose two essays I've read so far have been about running and heartbreak and just kind of DWM stuff, you know? She's alive, she's moving through the world. A lot of art references, very referential and contextual. And it's interesting so far, I'm liking it. Hannah recommended it, said I would like it. So, I am. Okay, goodbye everyone, be like Spud. He's the best.